Hey everybody, how's it going today? I'm gonna to be showing you how I make a boom, a sprayer boom to go along with this tank sprayer. We've had this sprayer for quite a few years and have only ever had the sprayer wand. So if you're spraying a, a big area, it's kind of a pain to use it. And I think that I can make a, make a sprayer boom much cheaper than one you can buy out there. So um, I also am gonna be using some pretty high quality nozzles that I found online that uh, don't usually come with the ones you buy. And so I think it should work out pretty well. So if you wanna see how I did it, keep watching. All right, I've got the parts here, just using a scrap piece of angle iron. And then I've cut a couple pieces of uh, three quarter inch conduit. That's what I'm, what I'm gonna use to run up from the hitch up to mounting the, the boom for the, for the spare nozzles. Um, I've got it sticking out a little bit just so it gets back from the four wheeler. And then I've got a little support piece here like that. Um, I've also ground off the uh, galvanized finish just so it doesn't produce any bad fumes when I'm welding. So. So I've got it welded. <clears throat> They're not the prettiest, but they will do. So then on the back of the four wheeler, just have a hitch without a ball in it. And I will take a 5 8 bolt with a couple big washers and just bolt it like that. And then I'll run my boom right off the end of that. So I've got these really cool uh, EMT brackets for clamping uh, conduit together. They're, they're called uh, Maker Pipe. Um, I found them this fall when I was working on something with conduit. And I mean, sometimes you got to weld it together, but if you don't need to, and it's just normal 90s or Ts, um, these things work really well. And they're not too expensive, and you can do a lot of stuff with them. So um, they go like this, and then you got to... Um, they kind of got like a puzzle piece on the end there. Um, I thought that that went around the piece of pipe, but maybe not. But um, either way, you put them through like this, and then you've got a just a bolt and a nut. And you put your piece through like that. And you tighten that down, and I've got my boom. Pretty simple. I've got the boom all assembled here. As you can see, I got the tank on the back. Painted the part uh, that I welded some uh, Alice Chalmers orange that I had laying around. I've got the three eighths inch lines running from the pump on the sprayer down to a T and then just zip tied to the boom and then they run to two sprayer nozzles four feet apart. Um, the, the company I got the sprayer nozzles from had a chart for how high up to mount them off the ground for based on how the angle they spray at. So these ones are 110 degree spray and these are mounted um, about 20 inches off the ground and it's set up so that they overlap in the middle a little bit and then uh, obviously go off to the sides. The sprayer nozzles are a brand called T-Jet and they come with, you can buy these cool, they don't come with it yet, buy it separate, but they have these cool clamps that clamp on either three quarter or half inch conduit and then it holds the, uh, the nozzle body and in this nozzle body they have check valves in them so that if you turn the sprayer off they don't leak out. And then these spray nozzles are removable. So I ordered two different sets and there's numerous different kinds you can get for different applications. So my friend Andrew, uh, he wired in a switch for me to control it. I didn't used to have a switch, it was just a plug-in. Still gotta figure out how to mount it, but thanks Andrew. So I'm gonna turn it on and you can see how wide it sprays. 
I think it came on. So just having two nozzles, 110 degree angle, like I said, you're getting over 10 feet of spray, closer to 11 feet. So that's uh, that's pretty good, just from having two nozzles, and you can feel it. It's definitely this one's going over here, over the center, and this one's going over here. So you have some good overlap in the middle as well. And uh, that's just water right now, just to test it out and figure out the spray. There's nothing, uh, no chemicals in there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check in the description down below for more info on the spray nozzle and uh, sprayer parts that I got. Uh, the website that I got in front was not the best, so I'll try to give a little more info on the type of parts that I got. Also, if you enjoyed my video, please hit the subscribe button so you can see uh, more of the things that I like to build. Thanks for watching.